Five genetically modified fruits and veggies. Five banana vaccines. Chances are that the next time you visit your family doctor for a hepatitis B or cholera vaccine, he might prescribe a bite of banana. Although other foods like potatoes, lettuce, carrots, and tobacco have also been used to conduct experiments in this regard, bananas have come up winners. As the plant grows, its cells produce the virus proteins, but not the infectious part of the virus. 4. Anti-Cancer Purple Tomatoes Researchers found that by injecting genes from snapdragon flowers into normal red tomatoes, the latter produced an increased amount of the pigment anthocyanin. Besides adding deep reddish and bluish tones to fruits like cranberries and blackberries, anthocyanin is a potent antioxidant that shows promise in inhibiting the growth of cancer cells, easing the symptoms of diabetes, and relieving several age-related illnesses. 3. Fishy Strawberries if you think there's something fishy about that ripe, juicy strawberry you just bit into, you could be right. Scientists have been experimenting with so-called antifreeze genes found in cold water fish like sea flounder and arctic char. When implanted into fruits and vegetables like potatoes, tomatoes, and strawberries, the gene acts to make the plant in question more resistant to freezing and bad weather. The strawberries don't taste fishy, though one imagines the flavor would be somewhat like fruit clamato. 2. Non-browning apples Okanagan Specialty Fruits of Summerland, British Columbia has applied to the U.S. Ag Inspection Department for market approval for a GMO apple that doesn't brown after being sliced. The apple doesn't brown because the gene that produces the enzyme polyphenol oxidase, what turns the apple brown, is silenced. The apple's still brown, but just not as quickly. 1. Venomous Cabbage Scientists have recently taken the gene that programs poison in scorpion tails and looked for ways to combine it with cabbage. Why would they want to create venomous cabbage? To limit pesticide use while still preventing caterpillars from damaging cabbage crops. These genetically modified cabbages could produce scorpion poison that kills caterpillars when they bite leaves. But the toxin is modified so it isn't harmful to humans. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.